Welcome to the step one of your study guide, and in this lesson, we learn about metabolic fuel use. Under anaerobic conditions, the first thing to go is the stored ATP, and after about two seconds, it is used up. Creatine phosphate in the muscles begins to quickly rephosphorylate ADP until about 10 seconds, it is used up. And anaerobic metabolism is fully wasted after just under a minute. Aerobic metabolism, however, increases in performance after a minute and stays constant thereafter. The overall performance thus looks like this. Different macronutrients don't have the same energy density. The most dense is 1 gram of fatty acids yielding 9 calories. 1 gram of alcohol has 7 calories, and 1 gram of carbs and protein have the least amount of energy, yielding just 4 calories. Let's go over how the body will acquire its energy during different situations. In the fed state, right after a meal, insulin will stimulate the foods you just ate, the lipids, proteins, and glycogen to be stored. Glycolysis and respiration will be the main source of energy. When you're fasting in between meals, glucagon and epinephrine will call upon the liver to undergo glycogenolysis as the main source of energy. Gluconeogenesis of the liver will also occur and the release of free fatty acids from the adipose tissue for aerobic oxidative phosphorylation. One day after not eating anything, your glycogen stores become depleted. Your body then relies on adipose tissue to release free fatty acids for aerobic metabolism. Gluconeogenesis occurs in the liver using lactate, alanine, glycerol, and propionyl-CoA from odd-chain fatty acids instead of glycogen. Red blood cells lacking mitochondria cannot use ketones for fuel. After three days of not eating, gluconeogenesis is carried out by catabolizing proteins from your tissue, like the muscle, to provide your blood with fuel. Ketogenesis becomes the main source of energy until the fat stores are used up. As protein degradation speeds up, it eventually leads to organ failure and death. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 of You. We'll see you in the next video.